a little bit about the genesis of Read One's book. Well, believe it or not, I heard that uh, Seattle was doing it by listening to NPR. And before you knew it, I heard that Chicago was doing it. And I thought, well, if they can do it, we can do it. And uh, so we came up with the idea of picking a book for all of Long Beach to read and, and discuss and uh, took it to the Long Beach Public Library Foundation and they embraced the idea and we've been doing it for eight years now and uh, enjoying every single one of them. Now in the year 2009 here we've mm -hmm. got a very interesting book. Talk about a little bit about that book and how you came to pick Three Cups of Tea. Three Cups of Tea is the uh, a very current story, and it's nonfiction, of Greg Mortensen, a mountain climber nurse who went to climb K2, the uh, second tallest mountain in the world, and uh, got sick, uh, needed help from local villagers, and uh, they were very kind to him. And in repayment of their kindness, he has spent the remaining part of his life to this very day building schools for the children of Pakistan and now Afghanistan as well. So it's a story of adventure, it's a story of dedication, it's a story of selflessness that uh, our committee thought was a wonderful example for us here in Long Beach and also a good education about a part of the world that's in the news all the time now and uh, gives a human side to it. It's not just casualty figures or explosions or military and government. It's real people, real children, and it really touches your heart. What's exciting about Read One Book is, I mean, it's literally trying to get everyone in the city to read one book. Exactly. Talk about it's, because really 25, I think, or more events circling around this theme. Talk a little bit about, about that. Sure. We uh, work with a number of community organizations and each of them designs an event that they think will appeal to their constituency, their membership, their students, whoever they are. And uh, oh my goodness, I've never counted how many organizations we work with, but it's clearly been as 50 or more over the course of our eight years. And uh, we all subscribe to the same basic goals. First of all, we want to increase the joy of reading. We do that by turning it into a social event and we want to increase community building by giving people something in common to talk about, something that they may not have, or it gives them something in common that they wouldn't have had before, a reason to discuss uh, how they like the book and so on, and so it builds community building by building relationships. I think one of the things that really excites me is that this is not just a group of people sitting in a library reading. I mean, you, you have events in some of the more interesting locations. Uh, can you talk a little bit about some of those locations where, where you're doing things? Sure, and it varies of course from year to year according to who's involved, but we certainly are in all the schools in Long Beach. So there are thousands of children who are going to be reading this book, not in a corner of a musty library, but they're doing it in their classes with their teachers and they will be meeting Greg Mortensen because we will have several events where Greg Mortensen, the, uh, the author of the book, will be there. We have events in coffee shops, in retail stores, uh, at the Carpenter Center for the Performing Arts. It's all over the city and uh, there is a way for almost anybody to participate and virtually everything is free. Now besides the obvious m mission goal of of getting everyone to enjoy this book. What's the, what's the bigger goal for Read One Book, particularly this year? Well, uh, we always have the goal of literacy and encouraging people to read. That's fundamental to the Library Foundation's mission. And so by doing this citywide, we help the community understand what the Library Foundation does. And our Library Foundation, of course, is busy every day, day in and day out trying to promote literacy to children and families in Long Beach. So it's part of our goal.